There's our old buddy Magnum getting ready to shoot something. It is Wild Card Wednesday, so there's no telling what he's up to. Oh, hey guys. Hey Magnum. How you doing? Good. What are you up to? I'm just getting ready to shoot a short uh, clip here to show the difference between what I call an analog zoom, where you turn the zoom lens manually, and what you can achieve with the Ken Burns effect. So let me go ahead and finish shooting this, and then we'll go inside where it's warmer, and I'll show you the difference between the two. So just wait right there. Let's go in. Are you coming in? Come on. When we look at the example with the manual zoom, we can see that the image is very jerky, it's very stuttery, very inconsistent in speed, not smooth and fluid. However, the focus on the object at the end of our zoom is very crisp. With the Ken Burns effect, we see a smooth, fluid, zoom. There's no jerkiness, no stuttering, everything is flowing like water. However, the object seems out of focus. Again, using the manual method where we turn the lens, we're very stuttery, very jerky, very inconsistent in speed. The Ken Burns effect gives us a fluid, consistent speed zoom. It's not distracting at all. However, there's a lot of noise in the background and again, very soft focus. So, there you have it. That brings us to the end of our first Wild Card Wednesday video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I want to make a couple of comments at the end as far as what I learned from this. Uh, procedure. First of all, if you're wanting to do a zoom and you need to do it mechanically by turning the lens, uh, there's a good chance that it's not going to be as smooth as you would like it. Uh, unless you have a really loose uh, camera lens that moves very smoothly. Uh, also, there are mechanical devices that you can buy to attach to your lens that are motorized that will give it a smooth, uh, consistent speed. Unfortunately, those are pretty uh, high dollar. They're kind of expensive. Uh, so, you always have the option of the Ken Burns effect. Now, the Ken Burns effect will give you a very smooth transition, but I noticed on my video that the uh, focus was pretty soft uh, at, the, at the focal point and I did manual focus that so it was sharp and crisp uh, before I started. So that's kind of a drawback but if you're going to be needing to do a zoom like that 
uh, it's going to be more noticeable if you have a hard edged object. If you're doing a landscape or something with more soft rounded edges, it's probably not going to be as noticeable, but with a hard crisp edge uh, object, it will be noticeable. So you might want to consider other options for that scene rather than a zoom. You might do like a still shot at the at a distance and then cross dissolve into a more close up shot uh, so you can get the same effect of moving in. So I think that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll leave a comment. Also if you didn't see my yesterday's video, the Ask Me Anything video, you might want to check that out because everybody that asks a question is going to get a shout out when I answer the questions next Tuesday. So, um, as I said, I think that's it for now. Uh, I think I've covered everything I need to and I don't want to continue droning on here any longer than necessary. So, until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused.